The comparison viewer mode is awesome when comparing two clips. Let's show you why. To show the viewer, we'll navigate to the top menu and choose Window, Show in Workspace, and Comparison Viewer, or use the shortcut Control Command 6. The Comparison Viewer will appear in the main viewer. It might not look like much, but this is an amazing tool for color correction. Check this out. Ooh, today is gonna be the day that we're gonna learn some Final Cut, baby. We can either use the Timeline mode or the Saved mode to compare frames. We'll show you how Timeline mode works first. Wherever the playhead is, we'll see that frame displayed on the right side. And on the left, we can see two options at the bottom, Previous Edit or Next Edit. Next Edit will show the beginning frame of the clip to the right. And Previous Edit will show the beginning frame of the clip to the left. This is helpful when you're working on color correcting your project, one clip to the next. For example, you can open the video scopes on each side. and see how the levels in each frame compare to each other. It's kind of like a before and after. You might have thought you were a Final Cut amateur, but now, Final Cut Pro, baby. It may be more practical to change the view here to vertical layout to maximize the space. To learn more about the video scopes and how to organize them, check out our tutorial linked in the description below. If you'd like to use a specific frame for reference, you'll need to switch from Timeline mode to Saved mode. Then, position the playhead on the frame that you want to save, and click the Save Frame button in the lower right of the Comparison Viewer. And here is where the frame will appear. It also gets stored in this frame browser. Not only can we save a frame from the timeline, we can also go into our browser and save frames from there. We'll save this frame as well. The frame browser can store up to 30 saved frames. After that, any new frames will override the oldest frames in the list. We can also delete the saved frame by selecting one and pressing delete. Now, we can click on any of these saved frames and we'll be able to compare them with wherever our playhead is positioned. Whenever you're making color corrections to your footage, use the Comparison Viewer to make your job a lot easier. And that's that, the Comparison Viewer. How else would we possibly compare our clips? Don't forget to check out Pixel Film Studios, where you can find Final Cut Pro plugins designed for beginners and professionals alike to take your projects to the next level. Well, grab your partner, dose do dough, and I'll tell you what you gotta do, you gotta share. Subscribe and comment and like below.